Welcome back to a letter written in red. I told you I would play it again. <laughs> I want to finish it. It's just it takes me a long time to get to each thing because I'm too lazy with OBS and everything. <laughs> but ignore that. A letter written in red. That disgusting phantom. What is that? Question? Not a question mark. What is this? Um, an exclamation point? Ah, looks weird. Pablo, bring me a glass of water. I think I'm not recording my mouse. I will check that real quick. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, I am recording the mouse. <laughs> and I'm gonna leave it like that. I could turn it off, but I decided, you know what, we'll try it with the uh, mouse icon. Mouse cursor this time around. I think the first few episodes I had it on and then I realized you can actually turn it off. But I don't know. I can show you stuff on the screen like this. Uh. Anyways, we have two footnotes to find, and uh, we're just gonna go into the story. Oh god, now I wanted to drink something, but it's already story. Uh, <laughs> meanwhile, meanwhile, in another universe, the opera house was in an uproar. The person who needs to make a living was the one who initiated all the fuss. What? Christine killed Mr. Bouquet? Bouquet? I don't know, stage manager. That's outrageous. She's such a gentle soul. They can't read. She interested. <clears throat> but, but, uh, but, but think about it. Madame Ngiri wouldn't have committed a crime because of, of her, of her daughter. I, by the way, I turned down the music and whatnot. I, I'm figuring this shit out because it's, it's, uh, it's terrible. Every time the recordings are done. I realized that the music is too loud or too quiet and then the sound effects are too quiet or too loud and my voice is there and it's just It's really weird. This game has a weird way of putting the music uh, Very in, in very weird volumes. It's awkward, but I'm figuring it out I hope that it will be fine when you watch this on YouTube <laughs> What was that sound effect? <laughs> And the news, the news, the, the news was was found in Christine's dressing room. Was it? What happened? Oh dear me, is that a murder weapon? It is. Remember how Mr. Mr. Bouquet was killed with the with the rope around his neck? Miss Dye may not have committed the murder herself, but she she could be she could be hiding and 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 abetting the culprit. Mm, that's true. Such a good-hearted girl like her can easily be manipulated. She might, she might not have been, um, been manipulated, but voluntarily. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. Voluntarily helped the murderer. Oh, I really hope Christine's not the culprit. Oh, goodbye. That was that. Is he spreading the rumors? Because I, f I feel like that was 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 what. Blah, blah, I feel like that's what was going on, that he's spreading rumors because these, this dude and the dude behind here probably want, it, want that because they want Christine out. So, mm. sir, I've told them as you've instructed. Woo! Okay. Investigate what's happening in the opera house. Oh, okay. Uh, take the note first. Memoirs of a manager. This is information about a fictional book. This book was Armand Morchamin's third book, published in 1899. It is an, on, uh, an autobiography about his life as an opera house manager. My clock sometimes uh, does this beautiful thing of telling me the time, which is what I always have to cut out in these videos. Sometimes I can do it because I'm not talking or I just re-record it, but other times I can't. Uh, it's, um, <clears throat> it's always great. So it was fun. And if you're asking, why don't you put the clock down? My dad gave it to me, okay? It's a present. Never this clock will it be there until it dies or I die. <laughs> it is an autobiography about his life as an opera house manager. I only read the first page by accident and never read the rest. But according to the opera house staff who had read the book, the introductions was too long and one falls into a deep sleep before even getting to the main part. Ooh. That's not a good way of writing. The book is 900 pages long and very thick, so it never became a sensation in the art community or a bestseller, as Mr. Montchamin had hoped it would be. But he was nice enough to hand everyone in the opera house each assigned copy. Oh, nice. 
I found out later that he gave Baroness Castellot Barbezac two copies. I guess he was trying to impress her as he found her terrifying. What a relief she didn't try to hand over one of her copies to me. Whoever managed to read over half the book according to the Baroness, up to 100 pages was somehow unmanageable, says the book is about Mr. Monchemin's hardships and self-pity, written in a logical manner. However, there is not one mention about any music, unless it's a title of an opera. Huh. What is this, the Boar? So it's Academy, the Boar? I, th I think I read that. Beautiful Art Institute, the Opera House Managers, an audition. I think I read this, but I'm not sure. La Epoque has so much power. Close that. My personal drawer. Whee! Hello? No, I... I... I don't... What is this? Okay. He had something to say, now he doesn't have anything to say anymore? God damn it. What is with him? Hello? Can I talk to you? No? Okay. Brrrp. Remy works so hard. Yes. Remy. Good job, Remy. Now go and finish your task. Good job. Did they believe you? Half. <laughs> half of them did. While the other half remained skeptical. Skeptical, yes. I see. It's just as I thought. <laughs> Since Miss Day has no connections there whatsoever, uh, here whatsoever, no one will vouch for her innocence. People fall for these things surprisingly easy, don't they? Aren't you police officers? Shouldn't you be against this kind of thing? Shh. <laughs> They'll hear you. <laughs> well, whether she's the culprit or not isn't important. That's stickish. Mm -hmm. Master and me, are you certain that you put the rope in the dressing room? Ah, okay. Of, of course! And you've told the right story to some of our more lucrative customers? Of course, sir. I, t I already told them about it a while ago. Hmm. Mr. Commissary, I believe you can proceed with your investigation as is then? <laughs> the sound effects are always so loud. <laughs> I've also put them down in the volume thing, but oh. They should finally resolve this irritating case! My press will appreciate this too! Uh, yeah. <coughs> but so, <laughs> a young, beautiful starlet will draw much more attention than an old hag! Mm, Miss Day has only two people on her side, doesn't she? Those hearty Dishyagni brothers! So what? We have a uh, Lipoc and admirers of Miss Alonso on our side. Yes, it's not important as to, uh, that the story adds up. Well, it is for me, but <laughs> it's merely a matter of who has more power. <laughs> anyway, Miss Mister po Polygny um, sent sent a letter. <laughs> What? Mr. Polygny did? Why? And this better not be some gibberish about the Phantom again. Hmm. I too have trophies and a lot of them. This better not be about a Phantom. I can... Can I... Him, Mr. Polygny, has something to say? Do you want to check? Are you talking about the letter over here? The book? There we go. Letter? What does it say? We deeply appreciate your hospitality. However, I'd like to remind you that we have no right to take up Box 5 on the Grand Tier. As we've informed you before, that seat already belongs to someone else. You haven't forgotten about the final clause in Article 63 of the contract, have you? <laughs> the spin- Wee! The spin of anger! <laughs> have you forgotten, they say? Oh, he ripped the letter. This is most unacceptable! Unacceptable! Slamming the desk. The damn phantom! The damn polygony! A few more days went by. Hello! Hello! Yippee! <laughs> the cursor. Wee! Wee! Boop! Oh! I hope she delivered my roses safely. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she, uh, Christine, Christine got roses from beautiful Raoul over here and then she destroyed them because the angel of music is a bitch. It was very sad and dramatic as I can't hand them to her in person. 
That was the best I could do to let her know how I feel. I think she knows, dude. She's just saying, please stay away because we're both in danger otherwise. By the way, the mood is a bit odd at the Opera House today. I hope there's nothing wrong with Christine. I'm an old woman, Christine Dye. Who are you, fraud? I should not say, but leave the Opera House if I were her. Wait, what on earth are they talking about? Whoops. What did that man just... That man? That man? Oops, Mr. A wouldn't do such a thing. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Only the innocent die. Okay, I will look for the footnote. I don't find a footnote, but I found a cat. Hello, audience member? Beep. We will always get more hints up here. Um, if we click on cats that we find. Again, in the if you play this game... Uh, you didn't pay for it and you played for free. you can play it for free on the app store or not you can download it on a on your mobile phone then you can get advertisements when you click on the on the cats and then you get the hint but because I paid for this I have just the blah, blah. I just have the hints and no ads which is very nice <laughs> <laughs> Music is great. We're not gonna talk to them yet because we're looking for food nudes, as I said. And also I saw a cat up there. Are we going to investigate what's happening? I feel like we should talk with them. I hope that nothing happens when I go to the manager's office. I think it's closed anyway. Hello, you have something to say? No, nothing. This dude, this dude is always around. It's so weird. He's like standing over here, but when we go outside, he's up at the balcony. Really, really odd. See, there he is. Oh, the cat is not here anymore. This is going to get messy. There's no cat anymore. There was a cat. I swear it was. Oh! Ah! Oh, look! There's the news! Oh no! Melanie! That's a shame, she was really nice. <laughs> Screw that, no! They actually planted false evidence! Aha! There was actually a footnote. It was extra crowded today. Look, that's what you get for looking around. Which also means I have to write that down in the description again, which is always great making my own walkthrough <laughs> For a game no one plays. Well, I can sleep at night, so <clears throat> Labor dispute 2 a strike is one way to exercise labor disputes in which all workers stop working a Strike is the last resort in labor disputes as a strike completely stops certain work the first strike in history was held by the craftsmen in ancient Egypt in the 12th century BC who constructed the royal tombs. When they didn't receive their pay, they went on strike. After that, their wages were increased. Hey, that's cool. Also, what is going on over here? Look, what actually is this? This is a notebook, right? There's a watch and there's a, the scissors and then what the fuck is this? N the needle and a thread. Needle and a thread. I gotta get you out of my head. What is this? Fireman? Fireman! I think I read this already. But sometimes it re-shows me stuff. I don't know. I don't know. Five? Does he have... No, he has nothing to say. Alright, then we're going downstairs. We are downstairs. And now we're gonna talk to Le Pupil. Miss Alonso and every mention of an agree with Le Puc and something. They all don't want Christine. Have you seen the article? I haven't seen the article. <coughs> Pardon me, are you talking about Christine Day? Ah, have you not heard the news? Are you looking for that wench? Oh, you can find that wretched singer at a police station. So why don't you go over there and leave us alone? What? Wretched singer? And what's this about the police station? Didn't you know? Why don't you read this? Alright, uh-huh. That... Three, two, one, let's go. Fuck! <laughs> Do I have to read such poppycock? In my entire life, I've never heard the word poppycock. But 
sounds like the dick of a dog. Just a very small one. Murder! Joseph Bouquet! Moi, suspect! Black Christine Die. And you can see the angel over here. That's really funny. The statues outside have these faces and they're great. <laughs> La Epoque, by the way. Um, Murder at the Opera. The Swedish suspect. <laughs> the Swedish suspect. Oh no. Wasn't there the Swedish... Um, what was it called? The Swedish job? Where they stole the painting or something? God, I don't remember the name. This paper has previously reported about the death of Mr. Joseph Bouquet, the stage manager of the Opera House in Paris. The management of the Opera House has provided information about the prime suspect in the murder, which contains some shocking allegations to say the least. The most likely suspect, according to the opera's management, is none other than Christine Daae, a 20-year-old chorus member from Sweden. But like, have you seen the lady? She's more frail than me. Which doesn't mean a lot. I'm a very strong woman. But um, <clears throat> she's a very, very cute little frail lady. And if you want to kill someone with a noose, that requires strength. And she just doesn't have that. It's very unlikely despite her personality, that she would be able to do that. Also, she doesn't have a motive. <laughs> like, it, it's it's just, I understand, you have to, you have to find out. You found evidence, you heard things, so you have to, pr you have to find out is something, um, correct about these allegations. I get it, I get it, but it, it's still a bit, yeah, you know, there's, uh. So what could have happened between Mr. He and Mr. Bouquet? Did something violent and tragic happen between the two, much like how Mr. He's home country of Sweden once betrayed this great nation and its first emperor Napoleon? What the fuck? <laughs> this is how you write a great story. Like, what? They just jump from one thing to the other. Like, oh my god. Just like Sweden. Everyone who's from Sweden is betraying everyone. Yeah. Be careful of the sweets, I guess. The heck? <laughs> Perhaps Miss Day was prompted to engage in such a heinous crime in order to attract the world's attention again after that fateful night. Yeah, what? But, huh? <laughs> that makes no sense. She would be in prison, then there's no. God damn it, my clock. If she would have wanted attention f and was like, I get attention by killing the dude, then she would have told everyone yeah I did it because then she would get all the attention but instead she just didn't say anything and waited until people found out like that doesn't make a lot of sense if it's about attention ah uh, whatever <clears throat> while the opera's management has acknowledged that Miss Daye is indeed a talented singer it has its reservations about casting her in the main role while she draws such negative attention from the public. Oh, that's a nice strategy from them. After all, many opera goers are still pining for Miss Carlotta to perform her jewel song once again. Of note, Miss Daye is the daughter of a Swedish farmer who had little to do with music education. So what? Does it, you don't have to have a certain type of education to be good in something. I was like, what? That makes no sense. I understand it. It's the different times. I mean, it's still like this nowadays. But it's stupid. Like, everyone can... Everyone can cook, you know? <laughs> Whenever she had some shady dealings with the late Professor Valerius and his surviving spouse remains to be seen. Who? <laughs> Several paragraphs proceed to make wanton speculations about Christine's personal life. This is like... I think that's not allowed anymore to write in paper, or at least in uh, serious newspapers, because that's not news reporting, that's just blogging, that's just theorizing and stuff. And you can't, you have to be actually scientifically accurate when you publish something in a serious journal. So that kind of shit wouldn't be allowed anymore. If you look at old newspapers, they did write a lot of their own ideas in it. Which is like, yeah, don't do that. By the way, you're just reporting the news. You're not a theorist. 
Fermin Richard, a co-manager of the Opera House and the composer of The Death of Hercules, says in reference to the distinguished Miss Carlotta that one foreign diva is more than enough at the opera house. <laughs> okay, they could have just stopped at opera, but all right. Or maybe you have to do that opera house. I don't fucking know. Although this is supposed to be an article about the murder of Mr. Bouquet, the rest of the article goes on to criticize the actions of Sweden took in the Napole Napoleonic Wars. Wow. See, you're kind of drifting off from the topic. Yeah, that's bullshit. <laughs> it's a piece of shit paper. Damn. You mean people really believe this? I had to discover the news in Dai's dressing room. Bam bam! Bam bam! Okay. That does not prove anything, let alone a murder. Rope can be found in any room, not to mention she doesn't have a clear motive. Are you defending the murderer right now? Murderer? The murderer accused by Laipok? When has that paper ever printed a proper article? Thanks to people like you, they never go out of business. Yeah, you all are idiots. Huh. I was only here to check on Mr. Alonso, but I had to run into this annoying fellow. Anyway, this came straight from the opera house. I'm saying it's a reliable source, good sir. Because it supports my opinion. Hmm. Why is Christine being accused of murder? No doubt, it's the managers who are behind this. Ah! Oh, damn, surely the angel of music is already aware of this. Always great when you put in random sound effects where you're like, I understand what, what they're trying to do, but it just doesn't fit. Like, imagine someone turns and screams like this. Everyone would turn and be like, Is he getting stabbed? What is happening? It's a bit of a too dramatic scream. I get what they're trying to do, I get what this game is trying to do. It's a it's a small game. I don't think it has a lot of people worked on it, so it's absolutely acceptable. It's just still very funny when this kind of stuff happens. Also, why is his shadow behind him? That's an interesting choice of art. Why do they do this? Like, you could have just have this with the outline and not have the black shadow. Is it to create the illusion of 3D or something? I just noticed that while staring at his beautiful angry face. He calls himself the angel of music, yet does nothing. Just as a true crook would do, he uses the name of an angel. That fiend has done nothing for Christine. He never sent a letter or rec of recommendation or dared to stop the managers as I did. Christine seemed to be very reliant upon that angel. Where do I even begin? Woo! Ay 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 ay! I'm sorry, that's, is that a stereotype? I don't fucking know. <laughs> did he think I'd submit to some stupid letter? Just you wait and see. I ought to pickle that fiend in vinegar! Okay. Ah, wait, is that Madame Giddy? Wait, Isn't that the lady I met before? I should say hello. Hello! Oh, hello! I want to say hello! Hang on, madame. Oh my, what is it? What brings you here? Is it because of the bouquet case? That's not it! I, Madame Giddy, am innocent! I've received a letter, which I thought I should pass on to the managers. Then let me come with you. I also have business in the manager's office. Well, fine. I'll walk behind you, Sonny. Woo I'm basically floating. <laughs> Off we go. I bet we met, we're meeting Carlotta in there or something. She just ran off. Tap. Ah. Come in, come in. Ah, see, I told you. Uh. Um, how are you, gentlemen? How are we? Why don't you read this first, Miss Count de Chagny? See if you can tell how we're doing after you read this. How could we be anything other than outraged when we read something so ridiculous? Okay, everyone is angry. What does it say? How ungrateful! Damn letter, damned letter, uh, Phantom, why you? I don't have the letter, there's so much going on. Oh my goodness, you have nothing to say, all right. <clears throat> is there anything we can look at? What is this, what is this, what is this, like Pock? Any intellectual such as Mr. Oh, it's like Pock. Yeah, <laughs> Paper, so many documents. Anything of interest in here? Nope. Nope. All right, we're gonna read this letter. Please calm down, Mr. Monchemin. This looks like the envelope from before. 
two, one, go. Da 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 da. Last chance. Christine Day. And whoops, Madame Giddy. Monthly allowance. Blop, the Phantom of the Opera. <gasps> what does that mean? Do you insist on making me your enemy? Since you may still yet desire to have some semblance of peace, I hereby grant you one last chance. A peace that will only be kept only if you meet all four of the following criteria. First, return my assigned box to me for my exclusive use. Second, have Christine Day play the role of Margaret tonight. Do not worry about Carlotta, as she will be struck down with an illness. Okay. Third, restore my kind escort, Madame Giri, to her position, so that I may continue to benefit from her faithful service. Fourth, using Madame Giri as a courier, deliver unto me the letter of a pledge that you will faithfully carry out the provisions of the contract as your predecessors did, particularly with regard to the monthly allowance. If you wish to ignore the terms I have outlined above, then I am sure that you will be more than willing to enjoy tonight's performance of Forced from my box. Yours truly, the Phantom of the Opera. Oh no, this is not good. But it's also very unreasonable, right? Because it's... Carlotta, they want her to sing. And it's like, it sucks because we know Christine is good and she should get bigger roles and they just hate her for no apparent reason other than that she is poor or something and not a big name. But it's like so unreasonable from the Phantom to be like, I'm threatening you in order to get what I want. And it's like, yeah, but... Mm, it's unfair towards her. She's a good singer too and she seems like a nice lady. At least the one time Christine talked to her, it was like, they understood each other very well. She helps the younger ones. And she also comes from a... I think from a poor background. It's really weird. Also, look. There's some... Something going on over here. It's, it's uh, a poof. It's kaput. Destroyed. Broken. 